Yo there, Casey Guy 2 here, no nonsense, no how. Today I got a quick video about my 2004 Tundra. The other day, after some rains we've had for about two days, came out, turned my blower fan on, and I heard a bunch of water sloshing up in here. So I popped my vent fan off, and sure enough, there was water down in here. It was spilling out on the back here, down the carpet too. To get this vent fan off, you just got these three torques and one connection right here. It comes right out. So I said, all right, well, we all know where the water can come into on the HVAC system, comes in on the outside. Uh, you know, your, your outside air intake is usually right under here. So I figured pop the wipers off, get this shroud out of my way, I'll probably be able to, you know, see what's going on there. And after taking off the wipers and all those screws, I took it off, said, oh well, Toyota didn't really leave me much room to get in there. But while I have it off, I figure I'll try and get you a camera angle of what it looks like. If you look down yonder, you got that piece sticking up right there. Just like that. It actually looks like it's steel, and <clears throat> there's a, a silicone adhesive that, that uh, you know, adheres that to the body. So I'm assuming that's probably, you know, what's bad. But sometimes those things are plastic, they'll crack, and then they leak into the body. Or also, you get uh, leaf buildup down here, or leaf dam on the end, and then water can't flow past, uh, and, and then it's going to dam up and go into your car. So that's another common issue. It doesn't seem like either of those are my issue, though. Now I'm going to pour a gallon of water down here and see what kind of flow we got coming out of the car and if we have anything leak into the air box. Okay, it's almost a whole gallon and looks like it's running right past there, no problem. Now after reaching my hand up there, I noticed this sealant that adheres that uh, joint up there. It seems to be pretty dry rotted and beat. Don't know where my camera keeps focusing. But now after pouring that water, let's see if we have any water seepage. Uh, doesn't really look like we have any water seepage around there. Maybe a touch right there, I can't tell. But anyway, so I think my fix is gonna be to come in here with some good silicone and basically rub around this whole joint around the entire thing. I'd love to seal it from the outside. Sorry about this camera angle, guys. I'd love to seal from the outside, but I already looked behind this fender and you just can't get there. So the only other option would have been to cut a big access port right here, but then that's opening the can of worms, so. All right, now all that being said, my theory here is that when it rains for long periods of time, the water just barely seeps in along that edge as it, as it runs past there, and then it trickles down here enough to fill it up. That's why usually this isn't a problem for me unless it rains for two days like it did. Basically, I'm gonna come in here with some spray, clean this up real good, get all the dirt and all this old sealant off, and unfortunately, I'm gonna have to seal this from the inside because I just can't get to there under the hood. I ended up using Permatex, the right stuff, silicone. This is the best stuff you'll ever use. Put a link down below if you want to purchase that. It's expensive though. Uh, here's just a look at what I ended up doing. Like I said, cleaned up real good with bright clean of the paper towel around that whole seam. And yes, I know it ain't pretty, but I came in there. Still got to smooth it out a little bit more. But I just came in there with gloves on my fingers. Make sure to wear gloves if you're using this stuff. It is, it's pretty nasty to get on your skin. Um, but just kind of ran it around the edge in there. You can't see it, so I don't care what it looks like. Anyway, if you got a Tundra and you got water coming in through the HVAC box, this video might help you out. Let me know what you come up with. I think my silicone fix is going to fix it. Uh, like I said, I'd love to fix it from the outside, but pff, I just don't think that's going to happen with this case unless I take the HVAC box out and do it properly. Anyway, give the video a thumbs up. Definitely appreciate that. Until next time, this is Casey Guy 2. No nonsense, know-how. Enjoy your day. I'll see ya.